my baby is infatuated with this, so I got this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I don't know if your baby is intrigued with things that they can't have, but in my case, this is the remote for my TV, and if it's up on the tray or the arm of the couch, wherever the baby wants it, because the baby hasn't played with it, and it's forbidden fruit, and they are just intrigued. Maybe my baby has a behavioral disorder that just makes him want to have this. Now, I was like, well, if he keeps going after this, why can't I find something that he can have? And I actually found this. This is a silicone remote. You can see here, it actually looks like a remote. And in fact, he loves going for it. The thing I like about this is that sometimes he will act like he's pushing the buttons because he will see adults pushing the buttons too. You can actually see it's very similar to the Roku remote, not only in size, but color. So I'm actually impressed that they have like the colored silicone down here and the remote control and the keypad in a color and the red power button and all that. You can see we have a little bit of texture, some ridges and bumps down here and on the side. And then on the reverse side, I thought maybe this was just for these buttons, but there are also some other shapes here. So, you know, I guess they might recognize a rabbit or a star or something like that, but that kind of makes it a little hollow, maybe uses a little less material, but they can chew on this. It's very soft and I really like this because this is actually saved my remote from probably going in a mouth that it doesn't need to go into. Now, I want to show you that I picked up this too because your baby will eventually kind of tire of this. They'll see it all the time, they'll know what it is, and you gotta change it up a little bit. So I picked up this one here, and this looks like a remote too, but you have a battery in here, triple A's, three triple A's I believe. Little Phillips Hud screw comes out, you gotta put those in, it's not included. Little speaker on the back, and then we have a power button right here. So if I go ahead and turn it on, you can see that it goes on. You might be able to see that these little silicone antenna light up, there's a little light in there, and now these buttons here will play things, and so, the baby gets a little bit of satisfaction from pressing the buttons here than they do here because they see you hitting these buttons, things happen on the TV, different sounds, and nothing happens here, but this will keep them entertained. And you can see different buttons for different things. Car. Oh, I realize it's actually saying the numbers there, so it's a nice little learning toy. And then if they want to chew on these little light up silicone antenna, choo choo choo, they can do that too. So I really dig this. Now, I guess it's not a remote. It's supposed to be like a smartphone, but to me and for my nine month old, he can't tell the difference, but he can tell that it looks like a remote sitting on the couch and he wants it. And when it rings like that, or when he presses it and it does stuff, he gets very intrigued. So I actually like this. This actually came in a two pack. So you get two of these and I love this too. So I would definitely recommend picking up either of these or both of these because your baby's gonna tire of one or the other and they both have their advantages. So if you wanna pick up this or this, I'll put links to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.